Hello beautiful friends, my name is Brittany. Welcome back or welcome to Rescues and Reads. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm very glad that you were here. Today we are here to do the unboxing of the August Adult Unplugged Book Box. So back in August, I mentioned that I was waiting on a new to me bookish subscription service that was supposed to have been delivered in early August, but because of some delivery snafus that they had with one of their vendors, it was going to ship out very late. It ultimately did not even end up shipping out until the very last week of August. So I'm just now getting it and I'm able to film it for you. So there will likely be a September unboxing coming very, very soon because they're probably going to be shipping that on time. But anyway, I still wanted to share this with you. Like I said, it is new to me. It is not a new subscription service. I believe it has been around for several years at this point, but it's it's not something that I necessarily see unboxed frequently on booktube. I don't hear a lot of people talk about it. It's definitely not as popular as say like fairy loot, Aluma crate, owl crate, things of that nature. And it is one that I've been wanting to try because I'm still on the hunt for my perfect book box. A lot of book boxes out there, they just send you products that you're never going to need or use. They're just going to sit around cluttering your shelves. And that is not what I'm looking for. If I'm going to get a box that's going to contain something more than the book, I want it to be useful items. And I believe that's what unplugged book box provides for the most part It is really dedicated to self-care and unplugging, if you will. And I thought I would go ahead and give this a try. So I'm going to try it for at least a couple of months and see if I like it. And if I don't, I could always cancel it and just never again go for another book box because I think if this one doesn't work out, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give up. But I thought that it was worth a shot. And I've also recently received some special editions from Fairy Loot that I thought I would unbox in here as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. I haven't even opened the box yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and slice it open. Oh, and the book is actually right on top. So I guess we'll go ahead and talk about that. It is covered in plastic. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic off because it's going to glare on the camera. Okay. So I was looking into it further and there are actually two books in this box. And that is because the one that's the feature of this box, the one that was recently released is actually a prequel to another book that came out two years ago. So I've never heard of these books or this author before, but the original book was called Reset by Serena Dolan. And I believe that this is actually a dystopian, which is not entirely my jam. And I'm going to be honest, this book only has a 3.48 on Goodreads. This would actually be the lowest rated book on my Goodreads TBR. So let's see what it actually says. After the last war destroyed most of the world, survivors form a new society in four self-sustaining cities in the Mojave Desert. In the utopia of the four cities, inspired by the lyrics of Imagine and Buddhist philosophy, everything is carefully planned and controlled. The seasons, the weather, and the residents. To prevent mankind from destroying each other again, its citizens undergo a memory wipe every four years in a process called Tabula Rasa, a blank slate, to remove learned prejudices. With each new cycle, they begin again with new names, jobs, homes, and lives, no memories, no attachments, no wars. That actually sounds really interesting. Eris, a scientist who shuns love, embraces Tabula Rasa and the excitement of unknown futures. Walling herself off from emotional attachments, she sees relationships as pointless and avoids deep connections. But she is haunted by a recurring dream that becomes more frequent and vivid as time passes. After meeting Benja, a handsome, free-spirited writer who believes his dreams of a past lover are memories, her world is turned upside down. Obsessed with finding the Dreamers, a secret organization thought to have a way to recover memories, Benja draws her down a dangerous path towards the past. When Metis, the leader of the Dreamers, appears in Eris's life, everything she believes falls to pieces. With little time left before the next Tabula Rasa, they begin a bittersweet romance, navigating love in a world where names, lives, and moments are systematically destroyed. Thought-provoking and emotionally resonant, Reset will make you consider the haunting reality of love and loss and the indelible marks they leave behind. All right, so that actually sounds really fascinating. Dystopian is definitely not my favorite genre. And after a recent experience with an older dystopian called Parable of the Sower, I'm not necessarily super excited or inclined to read it but I love the premise of this. It actually sounds very unique, a very different take on any other kind of dystopian story that I've ever read. The book itself is absolutely beautiful. Those sprayed edges, here are the end pages. And I do believe that these are special edition covers. So I will try to remember up here to post the original cover for you. And look at that naked hardcover, y'all. Holy cow, that is incredibly stunning. And the prequel novel is called Preset. It is equally as stunning. I just think that the vibes of this are phenomenal. There's a naked hardcover. I'm just wanting to read these just based off of the covers alone, y'all. So I am actually very, very intrigued. I would certainly be willing to give one of these a try. I think I might start with the prequel. I'm not entirely sure. If you have actually read or heard about these, please let me know what your thoughts are because I have literally never heard about these at all or this author. So I'm gonna see if they might be available for my library and I might try to get one sooner rather than later. All right, so those were the books. Now let's go ahead and get into the goodies that were included in the box. So the first thing I see is actually a face mask that is based on It Starts With Us. So there it is right there. It just says, after cleansing your face, mix the jelly 
mask with purified water until it is free of particles. Apply the mixture evenly to your face and neck. After 15, 20 minutes, peel it off to remove. So that's nice. Also, it looks like they no longer include a booklet in the box. It says, as part of our recently announced green initiative, we're doing a trial run of digital spoilers. We know the pamphlets often get thrown out or lost. So in an effort to reduce waste, we're moving all spoilers to our website. Flip this card over and enter the URL or scan the QR code with your smartphone's camera to review this month's spoilers. So I actually really, really love that idea because those pamphlets, while they are very helpful and informative, they don't get kept. They get tossed. I really enjoy this. So maybe when I'm done doing this unboxing, I will take a look at the spoilers to see if I can get a little bit more information on the products. But I do love the fact that they are not including a spoiler pamphlet. Okay, it looks like the last couple of items come in this Tupperware jar. And I love this, y'all. This is wood or bamboo. And it says, the finest of pleasures are always the unexpected ones. And so based on the design, I'm going to say that this might be based on the night circus. I'll have to find out. But I love this. I could always use more Tupperware for sure. And then there are a couple of items in here. It says Morticia's Face Serum, Salicylic Acid Serum. So it says aids in clearing acne and helps to prevent new breakouts, helps to reduce the appearance of dark spots and age spots. This is personally not something that I'm going to use because I don't struggle with acne. And also I'm kind of a little bit sus on skincare created by Unplugged Book Box. I don't know. That just doesn't sound appealing to me. Hi friends, editing Brittany here. Just a quick interjection. So the face mask and the serum are not actually created by Unplugged Book Box. They are created by a company called Bath Apothecary. At least I don't believe that is owned by Unplugged. I will leave a link down below where all of the spoilers are. Even still, I don't love gimmicky skincare. I want skincare to be focused on effectiveness and not gimmicks or advertising. So this is still not something I plan on using. Oh, and we have a metal bookmark. Oh my gosh, it's stunning, y'all. It is a rainbow book stack. Holy cow, that is gorgeous. I love that a lot, actually. And then the last two things are actually stickers with the author's signature on them. Okay, so overall thoughts on the box. I'm not wowed, but I'm also not put off as well. The books that they included are not necessarily books that I would have gravitated towards, and they're not necessarily something that is within my comfort zone. But yet one of the reasons why I want to subscribe to boxes like these are so that I could be introduced to books I might not otherwise have picked up. I'm still willing to get at least one or two more other boxes from Unplugged to see if I consistently dislike or like the books that they include. If I consistently dislike them, then I'm obviously not going to pay money for a subscription that's giving me books that I don't want to read, right? Now, in terms of the items, I'm going to say that I find this very pricey for what you actually receive. I believe the subscription price for this is $52. Now, when you consider the fact that I got two special edition books in here, that's not necessarily so bad. I don't know if two books is standard for Unplugged. I'll have to look into that and let you know, or if you know, you could always leave that down below. But for the items themselves, like if this were just one book and then these items, I would have been pretty disappointed overall. This by far is my favorite item because I do take my lunch to work almost every single day. I can always use more. I'm always consistently like losing lids and having to replace my Tupperware. So I do love this. I do love that it is glass and probably sustainably sourced wood. And I do love that Unplugged seemingly has like a green initiative. I think that they are more on the ethical side, which I do love. And that alone makes me want to support them more. I also do love this bookmark, even though I don't really have cause to use bookmark marks very often. I do think that this is absolutely stunning and it is beautiful. So if I had to rate this box on a scale of one to 10, I would probably give it a six. So I'm going to see how the next couple of boxes go and see if I want to continue with this box. Also, I did want to do a very quick unboxing of the special editions from Fairy Loot of the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series by Holly Jackson. So I'm going to grab that box and be right back. Okay. So like I said, this is going to be a Fairy Loot special edition set of the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series by Holly Jackson. I absolutely adored this young adult suspense thriller series. I thought it was actually very, very well done for what it was. And so when I saw that Fairy Elite was coming out with special editions, I had to jump on them. Starting, of course, with A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. It is very, very shiny, so I'm going to try to reduce the glare, but it has definitely got a lot of silver foiling. You can kind of see like the newspaper clippings and stuff in here, which I love. Look at those sprayed edges. And then this is the back. There's our main girl, Pippa. It looks like she was kind of given like an anime-esque type style makeover there, which is awesome. The Naked Heart covers are simple but beautiful and the end pages on the back are the same and of course it is signed by Holly Jackson and we have good girl bad blood again very very shiny there's the spine the back and I love the end pages it's got bloody headphones on them I absolutely love that here are the end pages on this one and then I love this naked hardcover the black with the red foiling oh my gosh it is so beautiful y'all as good as dead we have that oh I love those end pages oh my gosh those are so great the end pages this time feature both Pip and Robbie, who I love. And then this is white with red foiling. 
Aren't those beautiful? All right, so here are all three of them together, and then here are the spines. I absolutely love the color coding on this one, the black, the white, the red, the silver, all of it coordinates so well. The end pages are great. I just love them so much, and I wanted to share them with you since I was already doing this Unplugged Book Box unboxing anyway, but that is all that I have for this video. If you have subscribed to Unplugged in the past, please comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on continuing with it. And as always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I am to post one video a week, sometimes two, depending on what I could do. And I would sure love to connect with you in one of those next videos or on any of my other social media platforms. I always leave links to my Goodreads, Instagram, and IG threads down below so you can connect with me there if you would like to. And until next time, guys.